I think that the biggest achievement of the RDS program uh, is that we have been uh, successful in uh, advocating for the effectiveness of using ICTs to engage youth in agriculture. Because traditionally, people were not really thinking that uh, we could also engage young people to get involved into agriculture using ICTs. But we have demonstrated through different activities that uh, we can achieve that holistically. For example, we are, using, uh, we are encouraging young people to develop ICT applications for agriculture. And by doing that, they can have livelihood opportunities because they can create companies that can also sustain the agricultural sector, that can also transform the agricultural sector. And we are having great examples in relation to that in different countries, in Uganda, in Kenya, and also in the Caribbean. We are also using ICT to encourage young people to become advocates of agriculture, advocate of the support that needs to be given to young people to better get involved into agriculture. We are also encouraging the use of ICTs in uh, activities that are initially uh, not maybe uh, ICT friendly, like for example, soil fertility, testing soil fertility, extension work, and young people have seen these activities now as very attractive because of the use of ICT. So I think this is what we have uh, succeeded uh, in achieving, and 80% uh, of our participants believe that we have been having pioneering activities in that uh, framework. Actually, uh, this gives me the opportunity to say that uh, when we talk about youth in, uh, at CTA and also uh, in the ARDIS program, we are talking about people who are aged between 15 years and uh, 35 years old. For example, um, the African Youth Charter that has been put in place by the African Union is also targeting that specific age range when we are talking about young people because we have a high, uh, or let's say, a crucial employment issues when we are talking about youth in most African, Caribbean, and Pacific countries because these are the countries and the regions that we cover. So uh, our impact has been quite really, um, let's say, astonishing in a number of uh, uh, sectors. We, are, we have been uh, successful in encouraging people to support young people to get better involved into agriculture. But also, uh, for example, if you consider the development of ICT application in agriculture, we have uh, organized activities in uh, East Africa, for example, and also in the Caribbean. And in East Africa, our hackathon uh, have, has, um, um, through that, we have a young uh, team of developers who were the winner. And today, they have developed their company. They have created their company. They have recruited eight people, including young women, young developers, who are also part of the team today. So they, have, they are 10 now working on, uh, on that. And they are also, through their activities, uh, strengthening the agricultural value chains. And this is just an example. We have a number of uh, young entrepreneurial initiatives that have been uh, and facilitated through the activities activities that the ARDIS project has been uh, organizing. And um, I, I mean, uh, we are really proud of that. And uh, we feel that we have a lot of opportunities that we can still uh, facilitate through different activities that we will be uh, 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 putting together in the future. Uh, this uh, price is really, really encouraging for us. You know, uh, first of all, I would like to thank really all the young people of our network. We have 4,000 people who are following us on Facebook. I mean, at least uh, 4,000 people. I think it is more. And we have a uh, number of uh, young people who have uh, encouraged other people in their countries, in their organization, to vote for us for this prize. And it is due to all those support that we have won the prize. So I really want to thank them for that. I really want to uh, uh, thank uh, all the people, the advisory committee of the ARDIS project, and of course, all my, uh, my colleagues at CTA who have been also very supportive, all the ARDIS team, as we used to say it at CTA, uh, Naushin, um, uh, uh, Marion, uh, Giacomo, all the people who have been supporting us, uh, and of course, our director and uh, my manager as well. And um, yeah, so it is really, really encouraging for, for us. And uh, we, through this prize, we see that we have to do more, actually, to support young people to get in involved into agriculture and to advocate for the need to support them. Because actually, young people, they do want to get involved into agriculture, but they are not supported adequately. We, ha we don't have enough favorable policies that support youth entrepreneurship in agriculture. So we believe that if all stakeholders, government, international organization, we put together our effort to support these actions, really, we will be able to face the, the crucial food security issues that we are about to, to face in, in 2050, when we will be about 9 billion on the earth.